Hi, this is Mike from Shorty's HVAC Supplies. The original design of a gas furnace was a very simple but effective design to heat a home. It consisted of power supply to the furnace of your 120 volt house supply which, and a transformer that stepped that 120 volt down to 24 volt to use in your control circuit. There was a combination fan limit switch that when the heat exchanger heat up, one side of that switch would turn on the blower motor. When it cooled down, it would shut it back off. The other side of the limit switch actually broke power to the transformer if the blower didn't work or the heat exchanger got too hot for some other reason. There was no draft inducer involved. Uh, the combustion would start a natural draft out the flue, and they used rather large flue on these old furnaces. There was a standing pilot on furnaces. They had a thermocouple, which would generate a millivoltage as the fire burned on the thermocouple, which was two dissimilar metals. It would energize a relay in the gas valve to hold the pilot open and allow the main gas valve to operate. The thermostat was the only other operating control in that circuit, and it would energize the gas valve provided the limit switch was not open would shut off the 24 volts. Uh, modern furnaces are designed a little bit different. They have some electronics that drive them. Um, there's an algorithm built into a circuit board that an engineer at the factory designs for the length of time the blower motor runs instead of going off the temperature to get optimum efficiency out of the furnace and longevity out of the heat exchanger. There's uh, some type of an ignition uh, control that will either do hot surface or spark ignition. And there's a draft inducer. The draft inducer has a purge time when it comes on before you get ignition that will give the heat exchanger time to be charged with fresh air so there's no spent gas or gas left in that heat exchanger. There's also a pressure switch. The sole purpose of the draft pressure switch is to prove the operation of that draft inducer. So we will get a little deeper into these furnaces a little later and maybe help you some with troubleshooting on them. Thank you.